guys! Welcome back to my channel. So I have an empties video for you today. It hasn't been too long since I did my last empties, but I was like really on the verge of finishing up um, some things and so I knew I wouldn't, I'd have another video going on before long. And hopefully I'll get this video done before it starts thunderstorming because it is, we're supposed to get severe thunderstorms and possible tornadoes and everything today. So um, I'm not going to spend forever on these. I'm trying to take my make my videos as short as I can these days because I've been doing a lot of 20 minute plus videos and it just it's a pain to watch and it's a pain to upload when they're long. So I'm just going to kind of give a quick rundown of everything I have and not everything is finished. Some of it is just a throwaway. So um, first thing I have empty the Assured 100% pure cotton cotton rounds. I got these at the dollar store. I use them for taking off my nail polish, for using my toner, and sometimes eye makeup remover. It just depends. Um, these aren't my favorite because the sides of them are not stuck together. Like you can peel them apart. They peel apart easy and I don't like that. But I was in need of some. I was at the dollar store so I grabbed them. I'd, I, you know, I'll get them again if that's all I had handy or, or available. Um, Next I have a Bath & Body Works Signature Vanilla, um, it's a Lemon Vanilla Shower Gel. I just finished this one yesterday. I bought um, a bunch of these when at the last semi-annual sale that they had back in January. I think they were $2.50 or $2.75. So I bought the Lemon Vanilla, Coconut Vanilla, and Apricot Vanilla to go with my um, La Vanilla perfumes that I have, like Coconut, um, Lemon, Grapefruit, those ones. And um, this one is, is hasn't been my favorite. It's a little bit reminiscent of furniture polish, <laughs> but it's not bad. I just like my lemon scents to be more tart and tangy, and this one wasn't very tart smelling or anything like that. If it comes to lemon, my absolute favorite lemon scent is from Mark, and it's the lemon sugar line. That smells so good, it makes my mouth water. So this definitely was not anywhere near as tart, and I didn't enjoy it as much as I like that, but it was still okay, especially for $2.50 or whatever. It was fine. The shower gel itself, I don't mind. The scent was eh, but I still have another one to finish up, and I also have the lotion, so you'll probably see it again in my empties. Um, oh there's the thunder can you hear it <laughs> um this is the i knew a new vital gel cleanser you guys know this is always this is my diehard cleanser this is the one i go back to all the time i love this cleanser i'm currently out because i finished this and i forgot to order it so when i place my avon order tonight i'm gonna get like probably four of them because they're on sale for 4.99 so that way i won't run out anytime soon um, this was my husband's Axe Apollo 2-in-1 Shampoo and Conditioner. He really likes these Axe 2-in-1 Conditioners a lot. Um, it leaves his hair really, really soft. This had a good scent. I think it was in one of those gift packs where it had like a shower gel and a deodorant with it. He likes getting those. I, I usually pick those up for him here and there when I see him. Or at holiday time, he ends up getting a couple of them. Um, but he really likes that a lot. Um, this is the Avon Advanced Techniques Reconstruction 7 Restoring Shampoo. Um, I just finished this up. I don't know. This is a really nice shampoo. I really like it. However, I don't know if I'll be repurchasing because I've been using for about the past two months, I've been using a cleansing conditioner instead of shampoo. Um, I switched back and forth between a cleansing conditioner and the Avon Advanced Techniques 2-in-1 shampoo and conditioner. Um, the cleansing conditioner I've been using is by Herbal Essences and I will be happy to give a review for that if you guys are interested. I've been using it, like I said, for two months now and I really, really am happy with it. Um, I like what it does for my hair a lot. Um, here we have the Avon Naturals Antibacterial Liquid Hand Soap in the Vanilla Scent. I enjoyed this. Um, we actually have one open currently in our bathroom right now, so uh, that would be a repurchase, absolutely. Uh, this is lots of Avon, always Avon in my empties. <laughs> this is the Avon Exploration Aftershave Conditioner. This was my husband's. He used this um, as an aftershave balm when he's finished shaving. It soothes the skin and it has a really nice fragrance to it. Um, he finished that one up and actually I'm going to pick him up another one in the, my order because uh, it smells so good. And he's coming by on the lawnmower, I think, and I have the window open so you might get drowned out. I hope that. This was a major disappointment to me. This is the Batiste Dry Shampoo Strength and Shine, and this is not empty. This is probably, I would say, a quarter still full. Um, did not like this at all. I started out liking it, and this is what happened. 
I would say halfway to three quarters of the way through the bottle, it stopped working. You know how you get the white powdery stuff and that's kind of what soaks up the oil in your skin? Yep, here he comes with the lawnmower. Here he comes. <laughs> um, you get the white powdery and that's what soaks up the oil. Well, but you shake it up and you don't get as much of the oil. Well, I don't know what the deal is, but everything that's in this bottle, like halfway down or three quarters of the way down is just, it's it, it doesn't absorb the oil. It just makes my hair wet and greasy looking. I don't know what happened. I shook it up really, really thoroughly. Um, I'm not really sure what's going on with it, but I was really disappointed in this. Can you hear him? <laughs> I was really disappointed in this because uh, it just, yeah, I disappointed. I will not be purchasing that again. I went back to my original formula of the Batiste, so. Um, I might have to get up and shut the window. Hold on one second. <laughs> okay, sorry about that, you guys. That's when I should learn to edit, right? Um, not that it'll make that much difference, but, but still. Okay. Here we have another shower gel. This is the Bath & Body Works Holiday Vanilla Bean Noel shower gel. I love this so much. I actually have, where's it at? Not only do I have the shower gel, but I also have the lotion, which I know it looks like there's some in there, but believe me, it's like impossible to get out. So both of these are empty, and I'm so sad. I love these so much. They smell so good. They're like my favorite, and I forgot how much I enjoyed them because I'd gone a couple years without having them, and I bought them last year during the semi-annual sale in January, or this year, you know, at the semi-annual sale in January, and I absolutely love them, and I'm when I when they got empty I was sad and I'm so tempted to buy some on eBay right now because they have them but I'm like no you have plenty of summer fragrances like scents you just use those up and come holiday time you can buy like four or five shower gels and four or five lotions and that way you'll have them to last but that's by far one of my favorite 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 scents ever so I think I mentioned before in another video but I'll say it again Jenna if you're watching remember you asked about the Bath and Body Works favorite scent that is definitely 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 my favorite Bath and Body Works scent I know I said coconut but I was wrong <laughs> okay this is also another Bath and Body Works product this is the uh, 24 hour moisture ultra shea body cream in frosted wonderland this is a really good scent too that it's really really nice and sweet I liked it a lot I enjoyed it it was the first time I'd had this scent um, I bought it during the semi-annual sale and I will definitely look for this one next year or this holiday season um, because I really really enjoyed it and I actually like the body creams better than the body lotions so so um, I will try to pick up some more of these for sure because I really really liked it um, this is my Avon a new clinical pro line eraser treatment um, this is what I use for my skincare morning and night it's an anti-aging serum and I love it uh, I already have another one opened it's always a repurchase for me I think I have two more on backup for when I'm done with the bottle that I'm currently using so definitely this is the bliss snowflake high intensity hand cream with macadamia oil and grapeseed extract this was like a little small size I think I got a gift pack of these at Christmas time and it came with the peppermint and I liked them both I, lo I love the formula of their hand cream this makes really really nice um, products this is the mark primed for perfection face primer this is not empty I had it in my collection for a long time it was a lotion type primer um, it didn't do anything for me it didn't help with my pores or my oiliness or anything so finally I just threw it out because I had it for a while and I wasn't using it and it was just taking up space in my in my drawers uh, let's see what else do I have I got a bunch of stuff, little things down at the bottom this is an unplugged for him this is also Avon um, shower gel it's the Bon Jovi's fragrance for men um, that came out a while ago my my husband used this uh, he likes I think he's got a couple more I, I got it for him it's been clearanced out. I can't remember. I only had to pay like a dollar fifty or a dollar forty nine or something for them. So I bought him a couple of them. Uh, I have a Intuition razor refill. You guys have seen these in my empties before. This is what I use to shave my legs with. It's got the shower gel built up around it. I really, really like this. I've used this for probably seven or eight years now. That's just when I, I always get it at Sam's in the big package where you get like twelve refills or whatever, and it lasts me for a year. So. 
Um, this is a Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in Fair. Uh, I did use this all up. It's There's some around the edges, but I just couldn't scrape it out good. And I could have taken the stopper out, but I had some other concealers that I was using. And I feel like I got my money's worth out of this. This concealer is okay. After this was done, I... Um, I bought the Instant Age Rewind from Maybelline, and I prefer that much more than this. So as far as a Maybelline uh, concealer, I like the the Age Rewind better. So I do have another one of these, a full size, like it's not opened yet. Um, in oh, just the lights flicker <laughs> um, in my drawers, and so I don't think I would repurchase it after that one though, just because I really like the Age Rewind better. Okay, I did a mess. Oh, here, I got one more thing. Uh, the Glimmer Stick Brow Definer and Tawny. You guys have seen this. I go through these probably once a month. Um, it's what I use to do my eyebrows with mixed with the e.l.f. Eyebrow Treat and Tame. I did a mascara purge because... Um, oh, wait. I keep, I keep finding other little products before my mascara. This was the Avon Extra Lasting Liquid Eyeliner in Black. Um, it dried up. I didn't use it very often. I'm not a huge liquid eyeliner person. Um, I had this for a while and it was getting dried out, so I just threw it out. And then also, I had a couple other um, Avon products that I just threw away. And I have to tell you guys, I'm really disappointed in these products. And... Um, so you guys know that I always tell the truth when it comes to the Avon especially. So I have four of these Avon Extra Lasting Eyeshadow Inks. They're the cream shadows um, that they came out with as they started to phase out the Extra Lasting Eyeshadow Pencils, which is a big crack of poop because these are nothing compared to those. The, the eyeshadow pencils are fantastic, and these just, it was a bummer. So I have uh, four shades here. And they're completely dried out. Now, I know I could put them in the microwave and reconstitute them. They're in glass pots. I could definitely do that. But I have color tattoos that are still creamy from Maybelline. I have my extra lasting eyeshadow pencils from Avon that are still fabulous. And I also have other uh, Avon big color eye pencils. I have NYX eye pencils. I have no shortage of cream eyeshadow products. Um, and I'm just not going to mess with these. They were a huge disappointment. I think Avon did a really crappy job on these. And, uh, yeah, so just really bad. So I have the gold one, um, the purple, uh, the taupe, and the teal. I kept the bronze one and the Merlot. Those two are fine. The, I don't know what the difference was in the formulation, what they did differently, but those two colors, I've had them for almost a year because they came out last summer. They're still creamy. They work great. You know, they're right on par with the color tattoos, but just these four dried out terribly on me, and like I said, a real disappointment. So that was a bummer. And then I have some mascara because I purged um, some mascaras. I have the Buxom. I think I got this in a uh, 500 point perk from Sephora. It was okay. I probably wouldn't repurchase it on its own. Well, okay, I know I wouldn't repurchase it on its own, but, um, you know, it, it was all right. But if it was in a kit or something like that, I would use it. This is the Smashbox Full Exposure. I think this was in a 500 point perk also. Um, I like this about the same as the Buxom. I felt the same way about it. I wouldn't go out and specifically seek this out on its own, but um, if it was in a kit or something, I would use it. You know, I used a Smashbox mascara one time called Hyperlash. I don't even know if they still make that. That was a fantastic mascara. I'll have to look around and see if they still have that because that was it was a fabulous mascara. Um, this is the Avon Super Shock Brights. I think this one is the Violet. It was purple mascara. It came out last summer. They have new ones coming out this summer in the same line. Um, it just dried out, so it was time to get rid of it. Also, I have this Super Shock Brights in the Emerald, which was a green one. Same thing. I used it, but it dried out. Um, this is the Avon Super Extend Mascara. Um, they discontinued this. I really like this mascara. <laughs> I have issues with Avon, <coughs> excuse me, Avon mascaras. You guys know that. This is one I actually really enjoyed and they discontinued it. So that figures. And the last thing I have is another mascara. This is the Kat Von D and I don't really know what this is called. It's called, what is this called you guys? I don't know. Whatever her mascara is, that's pokey. <laughs> 
it I can't read it. Anyways, I got it at Christmas time in a kit with a with her tattoo eyeliner. And I've heard Crystal on Crystal Zero Crystal Zero Zero Seven talk about this mascara before because it's got this crazy brush. You guys it's getting really dark and stormy out, can you tell? Um this brush <sighs> I'm really careful when I do my mascara, and I like the way that this mascara looks once you get it on, but this brush is painful. Um, it, it does poke me. When you get too close to the lash line, it just hurts. I mean, it just hurts. And I can have other mascaras that give me the same effect as this does without going through an instance of poking myself in the eye and having pain. So, so, catched it. Um, and I wouldn't repurchase that again. So those are my current empties. As you can see, my fluorescent lighting from the bathroom is getting crazy because it's gone pitch black outside and it's now only like 3.30 in the afternoon. So I guess our thunderstorms are coming after all. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And I will get back to you as soon as I can. And I'll see you guys in the next video.